It's been leaked, guys. Reaper's rejoining C9 for summer. Mithy's out. Any news? Uh, no one cares about Sengoku Gaming. Sorry, but everyone knows there's a filler job for Reaper. There's no way he was going to stay there forever. The... Apparently, he got the bag, though. That's what I heard. They they paid him like crazy to work remote, too. He's like literally like on Discord with their team getting the bag. Can't, I cannot blame him for going to LJL to coach Sengoku Gaming if they offered him an insane job insane salary and he doesn't have to be there in person he can just be chilling on his pc what about the fudge news i don't think it's official that fudge is getting replaced i thought it was just a rumor that thanatos was going to either, like one of the two teams i can't even find it yeah reaper can fix them maybe maybe reaper has a lot of success with these like high with these like super high skill rosters like I had to play I had to play against Reaper a lot. I would say his drafting is pretty solid. Yeah. He understands the game really well. Was it really Mithy's fault? Um, I never actually finished talking about that. Actually, I kind of left that on a note of like, I feel like Mithy didn't draft that well for the team. And I was like talking about what percentage of it is like the coach versus the players. And I think for the most part, draft is on the coach, but 40% of it, a huge chunk of it, but not the majority. But a huge chunk of it is on the players. Um, but I, I kind of left that on a note of like, I think I think Mithy deserves some of the heat. But in general, um, when something's not working, you just have to try something new. And usually the coach is the first one to go. So like, what is a good metaphor for this? It's just like, you know... I, I, there, there's no good metaphor that's coming to my mind but when you're on a team sometimes things are not working how you expect and just like it's just like kind of uncomfortable and it's kind of like just like everyone is kind of bringing each other down so you just need to make a change that's it any change but the thing is with the coach he's usually the most replaceable and the least paid member on the team so like he's he's got like a role that is like interchangeable and um it's like a guy where if you release them from their contract, it's not like super financially damaging for the org to get a new one. So I just think, I don't think Mithy was a problem. I don't think so. I feel like everyone on CNN was playing terribly. And from everything that I've heard about Mithy, he's a great coach. But maybe Reaper will be the solution. You know, it's like somebody had to like take the bullet so like fucking C9 could just like have another life, have another chance, like have a new perspective in the next split. Like maybe it will be an upgrade in the coach. I don't know. I actually, I can't say that. Like that feels honestly kind of unfair to Mithy, but I think something needs to be changed. That's all. And they probably weren't willing to make a roster change. So they make a coach change and they hope that that will like kind of like reinvigorate the team. JoJo's the only player. Yeah, he... He wasn't as good as he was supposed to be, but like, what do you do? Do you just like bench the player who's slumping? Do you, like a lot of the players are slumping. I think Berserker's slumping too. I feel like like Berserker and Vulcan both were not playing super great. Like Fudge was not playing super great. Like, but like you, you don't bench the players just because they had like one bad split. And then I guess like the funny thing is, I guess you do bench the coach when the, the co when the team isn't having one. Uh, you know, if they're having one bad split, you kind of do think about benching the coach um i don't know why that's just how it works in esports i'm not i don't think it's i don't i'm not saying it's the right thing to do but i think that's pretty normal like how many times do you guys think like dude coaches are the most replaceable fucking part of like every team immortals literally just running it back next split with the same roster but a different coach i'm pretty sure they didn't i don't remember where it's just just there's an announcement that they're just releasing their coach randomly it's like so funny bro Happens all the time. Having a coach for more than a year feels rare. Dude, it's literally the Hogwarts like defense of the dark arts spot. If you're not if you're not just randomly benching and firing and getting a new coach, then you're not an esports org. Do coaches have a lot to say in draft? They do. But I like I was saying this earlier, right? Like, imagine you're mythy. I'm not saying this is the case, but this has happened many times on, on my other teams. I can tell you. Every pro player will tell you that this is pretty common. You're the coach of a team and you're supposed to do the draft. And you think really strongly, let's just say you think really strongly, Renekton is not good. 
when your top laner says, oh, coach, like, please, like, I need to play Renekton. Like, it's like, it's my best champ. I think it's really strong. Like, if I play this other matchup and he counter picks me with this and I'm not on Renekton, I'm going to be so uncomfortable. You're going to take into consideration, like, what your players are saying. Let's say on the flip side, you think Renekton is trash. Or sorry, sorry, flip, sorry. You think Renekton is OP. And you, uh, maybe Renekton is a terrible example because Enna hates Renekton. Maybe you, you think that um, Smolder is OP and Berserker goes up to you and he says, well, you know, like, yeah, like Smolder, he's not really that big of a problem. Like, I don't think it's really that strong. Like, it doesn't really fit my style. Like, I, I, I don't think I'm going to perform on Smolder. And it's like, oh, fuck, this is like Berserker telling me this, you know, like I have like the super team. So, so basically what I'm saying is you have no idea what's happening behind the scenes that's influencing the draft. Could be the coach's fault, could be the player's fault. But I think on a lot of teams that I've played on, the draft is like a, um, it's a collaborative effort from everyone. Everyone is like kind of in the coach's ear telling him like what they want, what they don't want. And a lot of times the loudest people get what they want. And it's funny I'm saying that because on a lot of the teams that I was on, like, you know, you, you heard what Eugene was joking about. He was saying like, yeah, bot lane needs three bands. Cause like, I would be like in my coach's ear every single day. I would be like, I'm a huge part of the draft in general. On every team that, I, that I'm in, I'm a huge part of the draft. I want to understand matchups in every single role. And I definitely want to have a good bottom matchup for myself. So I'm like always telling the coach, like if we ban this, this, and this, and then first pick this, this will be really good for us. And generally the coach like will understand what the player is like feeding him, like the information. So yeah. I get basically there's a long way of saying like when you see a team have a have a really terrible draft you you could kind of imagine behind the scenes that everyone's like kind of trolling him kind of giving him shitty information who is my favorite coach um probably coach Kane on TL and yeah he's just he's just an incredible coach some players can't play certain champs at high level exactly exactly that's totally true like not every pro player is going to play every single champ that's good. Like, I could never play Mages. I can never play Draven. Um, some other AD carries could never play Kai'Sa. Some other AD carries could never play Caitlyn. Like, it just depends, right? Like, some some players never wanted to play Sonoteric when Sonoteric was broken. Every player has things that they can and can't play. The best players can play almost everything. Um, but, like, it's not really, like, a prerequisite. And I would say, like generally like you know even if you think about the the you know the, the guys that are like fucking performing right like the the goats of every single league they have like champs that they crush on all the time i'm just imagining right now i'm thinking like jojo i i like think about his go-to champions already and it's like oh yeah akali yone fucking azir right like he is like really good on those like apa just won lcs I'm, crush is a bad word but like they just have like go-to's you know apa has like zigs asol and I guess you don't really need to play like a lot of stuff. You just need to make it work. Caps plays everything. Yeah. Caps does play everything. Shouldn't it be required for a pro player to learn every champ that works for their role? Um, that's like uh, one of those ninja tweets where it's like, how do people just like miss field goals? How do they just like miss the kick? How do pro players just like miss the CS? How do they just like not play every single champ? Well, yeah. <laughs> Good question.